from the beaches to the valleys, your news channel starts right now. Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 with Santa Barbara Airport updating the community on its master plan. It's hosting an open house in Santa Barbara tonight. And News Channel reporter Bina Wahab gives us a glimpse into the future of the airport. The Santa Barbara Airport Master Plan isn't something you come up with on the fly. It's looking decades into the future. We're looking at climate change and sea level rise and how that impacts the land here and you know our operations in the next 20 years. Airport officials also say they need to upgrade their infrastructure to handle more travelers. How people drop off their friends and families at airports, how traffic moves through airports. We continue year after year to break that passenger number. Last year we were just under 1.3 million and we know this year we'll break 1.3 million. The airport master plan is also considering implementing technologically advanced infrastructure way into the future, including what's known as avertiports. There's these new airplanes that are drone like airplanes that take up take off vertically um, and they're electric and right now there's several different corporations that are making these airplanes and looking at different airports to be little hubs thursday evening visitors provided feedback on the planning process explored exhibits and talked to airport staff and aviation consultants Airport staff presented plans for fuel storage improvements, long-term terminal reconfiguration, and additional aircraft hangars. A major part of the plan is the Sunflower program, which is designed to help travelers with so-called invisible disabilities. That could be anxiety, autism, dementia. It could be a physical disability, but you just can't quite see it. And so really what it's doing is it's allowing our staff to re just remember to slow down, allow that person a little bit more time and space and, and grace. I have a baby brother who has autism, so whenever they, um, just any place in general is, is doing accommodations like that, it makes me feel more comfortable. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.